What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The Body Beat down here, Michael, at your most humble service. Today's Friday. Today is my back day. Uh, today, I'm pretty much sticking with one movement for the back. Why? Why not? So, I think sometimes we overcomplicate things and we expect ourselves to go into the gym and do a multitude of movements per body part. And there's no real reason to do that all the time. Unless you are sculpting your body to compete on stage. You're going to diet down and you're going to see every little nook and cranny and little muscle fiber and, and everything. You don't have to go and hit it to the extreme, every muscle. So just once in a while, I'll do something like this. And uh, I've actually touched on the subject before in the past. And uh, just to keep things simple sometimes, pick one movement and just do like 15 sets of it, you know? Do light weight to heavy weight to middle weight, and high rep to middle rep to low rep, and whatever kind of mixture you want to do of it during the one workout. But just enjoy that one workout and get the full benefit of that one movement. And today that movement's going to be the uh, pull down. We're just uh, going to use the regular long bar. I'm not doing anything crazy. Uh, right now we're starting with 70 on the machine. Got 35 on each side. And uh, so let's uh, just from here, we'll go ahead and do a first set and get it going. Oh. All right. Sometimes I find myself warming up with 50 on here. That's just way too light. So I went ahead and I just threw the 35s on. So, and what you want to focus on anytime you're doing a back movement, and sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. We don't think about it, and I'm, I'm very guilty myself. You want to stretch them lats out, all right? Flare them out. Do some different little variations with your movements and your shoulders and your back, and, and uh, just experiment in different, different uh, variations, just slight tweaks can really, uh, really enhance how your lats react. So that's some things I'm kind of learning in my old age. And now that I'm stretched out, uh, let's work out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Your goal for that is to stretch out the lats and then try to come down and pinch your shoulder blades together as best you can. And that's really the overall movement. It's a really good movement. And uh, that's one thing I like doing about back. Uh, and a lot of the different movements for back is just getting that stretch in the lats and the arm and then coming back and getting that squeeze. Feels really good. So from here, we'll go up a little bit and uh, I may shoot a lot of clips. I may not. So just stick around, guys, and I hope you enjoy and do uh, whatever it is that you're doing today and uh, have a good time doing it. Stick around. All right, guys, I got 90 pounds on the machine. This is going to be my second set of 90. Uh, but I wanted to just kind of let you watch how when I extend my arms, you can kind of let your shoulders roll forward a little bit and get a little bit extra stretch in your lats instead of just going up like so and so. You kind of go up and go and kind of, boom, kind of let your traps in your, in your shoulders and everything kind of go up forward with the motion. Check it out. Two, three, four, five. Or you can do it this way. There's a very slight change. One, two, three, four, five. 
the first five I extended further and let my shoulders go and the last five I just did more kind of your straight standard movement all right guys I have 110 on the machine this is my second set of 110 I'm going to show you a little variation also on the pull down uh, portion and you can also utilize that extra uh, extension that I showed you a minute ago uh, with kind of letting the shoulders pop out and go that way or you can just do it your standard kind of normal but a lot of people do the pull down like this right you can also do variations where you fall back and bring in a uh, Go back with yourself and let the bar come in. It's almost like doing maybe a low row or or a bent row or something. It just kind of mixes it up a little bit. Check it out. Get yourself back like so. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just something to kind of mix things up. Don't be scared to try things. Uh, there are no real rules to this stuff. Just experiment and enjoy and make sure uh, you know your body and your limitations of what you're doing. So enjoy, guys. I'll catch you in the next clip. Go on. All right, guys, we got 140 on the machine now. I bumped up just a little bit, so now we're getting kind of up into the middle weight area. So 140, and uh, let's do some more. We're up to 160s now. Uh, this is where we start getting into a little bit heavier. Every you know, every couple of sets that I'm doing, I'm getting up a little bit into the heavier and heavier. This is still doable. Eventually, I'll probably get to a point uh, where I may have to use my straps. Uh, sometimes we get to that point where we go heavy enough to do that. We'll see where we get to today. point in time for me it starts getting a little bit heavy so I can probably without straps maybe get six reps with straps I might could get 10 reps these are mites I don't know I haven't done these in a little while so I don't know so it's up to you to decide what you want to do uh, we're not really worrying about the grip strength we're worrying about working out the muscle so in this case, you might can do one set with and one set without straps, you know. You mix it up. It's okay to do that. So that, again, is what I try to preach with working out. There's no real rules. So it's whatever you want to do. So I think for my first set, I'm going to go without straps and see how it feels and uh, see what I get. I definitely want, I want to get over, four, over uh, four reps. So let's see how we do. I'm still going wide on the bar. Eventually I'll go in just a hair once I get up a little heavier. Mm. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I want one more. Now that seventh one wasn't as pretty as the sixth one, but I got it anyway. There was more pull from the arms, but I still got it. And uh, for my next set, I'll use the straps and see how I feel with that on the same weight. All right, guys, so this time on my second set of 180, I'm gonna use straps and I'm gonna come in just a hair on my bar. All right, guys, with the 180, you're going to notice the first set I did without the straps, I got seven reps. The second set I did with straps and got seven reps. Now, you're probably thinking, well, you didn't even need the straps. If you could get seven the first time, you could get seven the second time. Maybe not, though, because these do help to hold the bar. So I'm getting fatigued now because I'm getting close to the end of the workout. So I might have only got maybe four decent reps instead of seven decent reps on that second set using these. So that's where these come in and they're helpful. So we're going to use them on this set here. I'm up to 200 pounds and uh, we'll use the straps again. And I hope to get maybe four reps. Um, as you, if you've paid attention to the workout, I've gotten, you know, 10 reps, 12 reps. The warmups were 15 and 12 or so I've got a lot of reps in there, so it's okay to start doing low rep movements. I've only got three sets left, and uh, maybe three, maybe two. I don't forgot. Three. I got three left. So I got two sets I'm going to do with 200, and then another set I'm going to do with maybe a couple pounds more. So let's get these. My main concern is that this doesn't break. I watched a video like yesterday or day before and uh, a guy was doing tricep press downs and the cable broke and I don't know how it didn't completely kill him but it didn't, I don't think it hit him, but that's one of my biggest fears. So, and that was at a commercial gym with commercial equipment. All right guys, 200, let's get four reps. Four nice reps. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One to grow on, guys. All right, guys, we're on our last set. We've had a pretty good workout, uh, workout up until now. So I uh, put 20 pounds on, so now we're at 220. Be nice to get four reps. Just like that, we're done with our back workout. Like I said, you can do one movement and get amazing results. Uh, you don't always have to overcomplicate things. And I just want to touch on uh, the back for a moment. Uh, for me, in my humble opinion, the back is one of the most interesting body parts to work out. Uh, it just seems like there's so many variations, so, so many different movements, so many different tweaks to the body from the arms all the way down to your legs that you can do. And it just, it kind of makes the movements a little different. Different attachments you can use to different bars, to different machines, free weights, everything in between. It just seems like there's a lot you can do with the back. And it's probably, you know, it's one of my very favorite body parts to work out easily. 
So, uh, but sticking with one movement uh, was fun and it made things just kind of simple and, you know, straightforward for me today. And the good news about working out back is also you do get a secondary workout in your biceps. You can definitely feel a pump. It don't matter if you pull with the elbows. It don't matter if you pull with your shoulder blades. It don't matter if you pull with your neighbor's house. I don't care what you do. You're going to get a pump in your arms because your elbows are attached to your arms or attached to your biceps, and you're going to get some secondary work there. So you also get a nice little pump in the bicep. Anyway, I did 5, 10, 15, I did 15 sets. Uh, started warming up with 70 pounds and I ended up at 220 pounds. And I got reps anywhere between 12 reps all the way down to four reps. And uh, I had a really good workout, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, maybe you got a little information, little tips and suggestions along the way. If so, hey, let me know in the comments, guys. Also, if you have any tips and suggestions as well, Leave them in the comments. That's what we're here for. We're a community. We're trying to help one another and uh, experiment with new things and, and uh, try to, you know, make this whole workout thing a, a fun process. And that's another thing. Don't forget to have fun, guys, with working out. It doesn't have to be so serious. We can have a little fun, okay? Enjoy. That's what we're, that's what we're supposed to do. So I'm going to go eat. I need to get my food done and over with. I'm ready. And uh, don't forget, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beatdown. That's me, Michael, your incredible host, or insane host, whichever. All right, get up, get out, get red. Do a tip. We'll see you next time on the body beatdown, which may be tomorrow because it is deadlift day. And I usually like to video my deadlift days. I usually like to video every day. That's a sickness. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!